let's take a moment for the melanin sun glow. never mind the lighting like most of the times when I'm wearing like a white top my lighting just kind of like gets some type of way so just never mind that okay so right now I'm kind of like in a process of you know answering the questions that I've been getting and you know sort of like focusing more on videos that you guys have requested first of all I just want to say it is totally totally normal to have hip dips okay there is nothing wrong with you and it is totally normal okay like there's nothing wrong with you you don't have any health issues just don't worry a lot about having hip dips you know there's nothing wrong with it but i just feel like if people want to change certain things about themselves and you know through exercising and all of that i don't think there's anything wrong with that so i just want to put this out there that there's nothing wrong with you and i also want to say that it takes time getting rid of hip dips and I've seen so many videos on YouTube of people trying different workouts, you know, to get rid of hip dips and some people would literally say it took them a year and, you know, years sometimes to like get rid of them. That is why I feel like being consistent and having positive thoughts about yourself get in because if you want to get rid of hip dips and then suddenly you feel negative and you don't see results, I feel like people get results, you know, in different times or different periods. So all you have to do is just to be patient and understand that you will eventually get results as time goes by okay nowadays people want to get results so fast and you know they just want like a quick fix and all of that but everything takes time okay like don't let social media fool you i feel like one of the biggest problems that people do is that they want to get results fast all the time and seeing results fast does not apply in all areas in your life so just understand that certain things will take time and that's just how it is enough of me rambling about all of that okay now i'm gonna get into one of my best and favorite workouts that i feel like would work for you guys and these workouts have been proven to like increase your muscles in that area that you want to get rid of hip dips sort of like minimize the appearance of your hip dips so these are the exercises that I would suggest you guys to focus on. So the first exercise is the fire hydrants and I know a lot of you guys know this exercise. These movements target your outer thighs, hips and side buttocks So and also the line down side leg raises can also help to target your outer thigh and butt. So this is also known as the leg kickbacks. This exercise helps lift your butt and you know just keep your core engaged to protect your lower back. and and also do the movement slowly. I know you guys also know the side lunges and side lunges are also good for, you know, your entire leg. And this is the standing kickback lunges. And this exercise is really good to provide balance and stability in your body, you know. Another exercise is the standing side leg lifts. Standing leg lifts help build up muscle alongside of your hips and butt and you can also feel a stretch in your thighs this exercise is also more focused on your butt and thighs it's the side curtsy lunges and this works your thighs this is the standing side to side squats um you guys know how great squats can be for your butt and you know your hip dips so i also have hip dips workouts that i've tried before on my channel so i'll link that down below for you guys i know i didn't mention anything about your food intake but um, I didn't do any research in, in terms of the foods that you have to take in order to help reduce or minimize your appearance of hip dips but I just honestly feel like eating healthy always works best. I wouldn't actually worry a lot about that and you know I'm eating healthy so yeah. I know like a lot of people want to get results fast like I'm one of those people okay like that is why I always go on YouTube and like search how to get results fast and like doing certain workouts and all of that which will not always be the case for everyone because sometimes it's going to take a while okay it's going to take a while for you to get results okay and i feel like it's possible for you to get rid of hip dips you know all you got to do is just to be patient and give it time you know regularly do your exercises that could help you reduce or like minimize the appearance of hip dips just focus more on you know exercises that could help minimize the um appearance of hip dips and those exercises are the ones that i just mentioned right now and those exercises are focused more on you know multiple lower muscle groups that could eventually help reduce the um 
appearance of your hip dip but don't neglect like your whole body also try to like strengthen your whole body and working out on your whole body and one of the mistakes that people do is that they obsess they obsessed a lot you know on you know reduce who are these people making a noise i'm trying to film bro like what the hell what i'm trying to say is like don't like worry a lot or like obsess over any part of your body I feel like as women, we are created the way we are and, you know, there's certain things we can't change about ourselves, you know. I think if people obsess a lot over changing certain things about themselves that they can't change, I feel like that could lead to, you know, mental health issues. So, who are these people making a noise? I don't know why as women we like stress over little things that are normal sometimes, like I'm not saying there's anything wrong with, you know, wanting to change like a certain part of your body. Like there's nothing wrong with that, but I just want to say like don't stress or like obsess over it too much because I feel like in the end that's going to lead to like a whole, you know, mental health issue or like you ending up having anxiety and dealing with all these sorts of insecurities. So, I also don't understand why as women we like compare ourselves or like compare our bodies to like another person's body. Like you never know like sometimes you just never know if that person has money to like get that body done or like you know fix their hip dips or like get a bigger booty and stuff like that so just don't compare yourselves to any other person i feel like as women and you know as people we're all beautiful like the way we are and as much as we might be different like in so many ways i just feel like at the end of the day everyone is unique in their own way you know so there's just no need to like compare yourself to another person, honestly. I mean, unless you're comparing yourself in a positive way, you know, to like get some sort of like motivation, that is understandable. Yeah, that can be really damaging to like your mental health. So just don't do that, okay? Like don't do that. And don't be too hard on yourself in terms of like wanting to change your body so much. Like take it easy and take it step by step. And I feel like eventually you'll get where you want to get, you know, so I hope you guys enjoy this video Please subscribe if you have not um, like this video and comment down below what you thought Go follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys on my next one